Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of How White Are You? The only show where we determine exactly how white these two cats I've been letting in my bedroom every week really are. <laughs> As always, you're encouraged to play along at home with your own whites. And in case you forgot how the game goes, let me go over the rules. So we're going to have three rounds for our guests. First round will consist of a Spanish pronunciation challenge. We give each contestant a popular Austin street name or popular Mexican food you can find anywhere around town. If they get the word right, they get a point. If they get the word wrong, the other contestant has the chance to steal. For example, Eric, here's a test, and it should appear right in the middle for our viewers to see. Go ahead, Eric. Uh, and you would say? I would say... Chinquillas. <laughs> This is going to be a long episode. <laughs> All right, then we're off to our second round, our people of color challenge. I'll hold up a picture of someone historically significant or someone in the media now who's an icon. And the first person to yell out the right answer gets a point. So just a quick run through. Gentlemen, the first person who gets the name of the person I send wins a point. Martin Luther King Jr. All right, that would have been a point for you, Eric. Uh, in our last round, each contestant will have one minute to write down your recipes for potato salad. And we'll showcase your recipes one at a time for our audience and a panel of judges to review the level of whiteness in your recipes. The person with the best recipe wins five points. Then we add up all your points on this white ometer and determine if you are safe, I still drink Bud Light white, or the more dangerous Storm the Capitol type of white. <laughs> All right, let's get this abortion started. Today, our contestants are Cody and Eric. Eric, why don't you go ahead and tell us something real white about yourself? Oh, yeah, see, I was born in real, real white town. Uh, I had one uh, Latino friend. Um, her name was Naomi, and uh, she worked at the Mexican restaurant. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, yep, that's, uh, that's me. <laughs> Cody, how about you? How much do you love mayonnaise? <laughs> I actually don't. I don't love any condiments at all. That's pretty white. <laughs> uh, but the whitest thing about me is I prefer a flat chest, flat ass woman. Whoa. All right. Damn white. All right. Um, <laughs> and true. with that, let's get started with our first round. We have Cody up first. Oh, All right, Jesus. So. Uh, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, oh, we. Barbeco? Barbeco? Final answer? Uh, Do you need any? No, wait, hold on. Barbeco? God damn it. Look at all the letters in the word. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at all those letters. <laughs> Barbacoa? Oh, shit. That's very good. Uh, um, judges. That's going to work. Yeah, that works. Barbacoa. Yeah, that's going to work. Eric, are you ready for your first word? Oh, I am so prepared. <laughs> jalapeno. Eric, I was not expecting that bad of you. Look, Look at you. Jalapeno. Dude, I love jalapenos. It's fucking hell. All right. I right. put jalapenos on my this. shit. Let's keep going with this. This is going to be fine. I, li I like the reaction, Cody. It's good. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking jalapeno. <laughs> Baba <It's>... cola? <laughs> hey, it's because I'm a I'm an extra step of white than you are. Come on. <laughs> I wear boots to this every time. <laughs> Cody, you are up next. Are you ready for your word? Yes. <laughs> okay. I actually think I've had these before. Mm-hmm. Bria tacos. Wow. Judges. Fuck no. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're putting a little roll on it. I think makes I mean, it two R's, okay. dog. There's half, two R's. Half a point for the rolling of the R, okay? We'll give you half a point for that one. It's a birria. You kind of pronounce a P at the beginning of that yeah, one. Yeah, that's but, fucking, um, that's a B, dog. <laughs> what, what is that? <laughs> it's, it's a taco. I think you want to say it's a meat. It's a goat meat that you dip into goat sauce. Yeah, it's like a type of meat. Yeah. Okay, okay. 
What is goat sauce? Because it sounds like cum. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say it's actually like a I red hope. sauce. It's like a really red sauce. Oh. Yeah. The blood of children. <laughs> say the blood of Mayan. goats. Mayans. <laughs> I thought Planned Parenthood, but, you know. (laughs) Eric, are you ready for your word? (laughs) Yes, sir. All right. Habanero Rancherios? Rancheros? I know this word. Cody with a chance to steal. Would you show it to him? Oh, shit. No. (laughs) (laughs) He totally mispronounced the fuck out of this. Oh, it's Javanero. Huevos Rancheros. Oh, shit. We got a steal. Oh, Cody's damn. coming out on top. Huevos All Rancheros. Right. That's what? eggs. Huevos is eggs. Is eggs? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. 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 Um, but I thought all the H's were J's. Hey, dog. Look. <laughs> don't, I'm going to let you know something. I am have, I have not. It makes a. I know the J makes the Jota. Sound. I know that for sure. The Jota? That, listen, dog. Dude, I think it's racist if I repeat that. I don't know. Jota. That's what the J, that's what the J means. I think that sounds like a slur. Are you Jota? <laughs> I mean, you go around that dog calling people Jotas. I think. I think They're going to be like, what the fuck? Are you calling me a J dog? Yeah. Are you calling me a J? Yeah. <laughs> the letter J. Yeah. I think, I think you get. I don't in. understand it, dog. I just know that's what I've been told. All I'm saying is if you say Jota to somebody, I think you get invited to January 6th. Like, <laughs> get a free invite. All right. All right. Our uh, next word is back to you, Cody. Are yes. you ready? Sure. Here we go. It's a street here in Austin. Guadalupe Street. Oh, damn. With the pronunciation. Judges, that's two points for Cody with that one. Wow. I'm gonna take it. I'll take the Spanish shit. Now nah, after this, we might get fucked. I might lose, but, but I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take a good, strong lead going out of the first round. Next up, we have Eric with the last entry of the of the round. Are you ready, Eric? Yeah. Here we go. Jesus Christ. Caesar Chavez Street. Oh, <laughs> judges. We're, we're looking for Cesar Chavez. Eh, sorry, Eric. We're going to have to see what you got in the next round. I got the That's Chavez. <laughs> you should get a half a point. <laughs> he got one of the two words. Judges. <laughs> eh, no, no. no. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Dude, that's Caesar, my guy. <laughs> like the, like the wait, emperor. Wait, I know that. hold on. Can we get him for a point? Do you know who Cesar, uh, Cesar Chavez is? If you know, yes, you can redeem yourself for one uh, more point. Damn it. Um, I think I think Cesar, Cesar Chavez was a president, right? No. 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 <laughs> no, not even close. Cartel member. <laughs> no, not even close. A fighter. No. <laughs> An activist. <laughs> Minus 10 points for Eric. <laughs> I want to say he was like a famous coyote. I don't even know either, bro. I, I wonder, no, no, I believe he was a famous coyote. He was uh, known for, like, getting people in and out of, uh, of so Mexico. So, car- cartel member, that works. That's, <laughs> that's, that works. Come on. Come on. That works. The white uncles would agree. <laughs> Shout out, white uncles. <laughs> the scores are, okay, all right, fellas, uh, we're adding up the scores. We're going to move on to round two. Let's get ready. We have... I'm sending a picture now. The first person to yell out the correct answer wins a point. Are you ready, fellas? Mm-hmm. Yep. Here we go. Ma- Barack Obama. I haven't even got it yet. Ah. Oh. Now I got it. Barack Obama. <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. Okay. Wait. Um, okay. Well, since Cody, we had some technical difficulties. Cody, if you know his middle name, we can award you a point as well. Hussein. Oh, okay. So two pointer. Good job, fellas. Are you guys ready for the next entry? Yeah, go yep. for it. Okay. Oprah Are you re- Winfrey. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Retry. <laughs> Here we go. I swear to God, for this episode, I'll actually get a point. Uh, That's a uh, cheat. Tommy, no, is that, yes. yes. Cheat from Cheat and Chong. Oh, okay, yeah. we're looking for a last name as well. Oh. Ah. Can I be racist? <laughs> All you want, buddy. Cheat Lopez? <laughs> all right, yeah. all right, he got to be racist. I'll do mine. Uh, Cheat Rodriguez. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm about to walk off right <laughs> fucking now. <laughs> We have the, I, I we have the, the two basic answers. <laughs> <laughs> I know the other guy. His name is Tommy Chalk. <laughs> like him. Uh, I know Isn't he cheap. the white one? Isn't that why you know him? No, I know him from that 70s show. <laughs> Come on. From Come that on. 70s oh, you show? you know the white one, Cody? Huh? <laughs> Where's the minus points? Call the judges in. <laughs> but I know it was Cheech. Of Cheech and Chong. Yeah, that's Good fair. job, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> no points no point awarded. Yeah, no, no points for that round, but... Uh, what is the last name? I think you might get this next... Um, Marin, as you whites would pronounce it. Uh, Marin, Why if you're, if you're Spanish. All right, moving on to the next person. Uh, are you ready? Yeah. Keep your phones down and turn them over when I say so. The image is gone through. Okay, I flip them over. All right, ready? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. That was Cody first. One bonus point more if you will sing one of his songs for 30 seconds. I got Thriller, Thriller Night. That's all I got. I actually don't even know the rest of that song. Mm-hmm. Wait. All right, that'll work. <laughs> oh, my God. A, B, C. It's easy as one, two, three. <laughs> Name one other person <laughs> in that band. I'll give you one of my points. Janet points. Jackson. <laughs> We got Tito Jackson. That's two of them. Oh goddamn! That's two of them. I was so expecting it to just be a real quiet moment. I'm being like, "There's more." <laughs> and the last person we have on our list, <laughs> fellas, are you ready? Are your phones down? Yep. Yeah. Okay. It is sent and is ready mine. for you guys. Ready? Yep. Go. Uh, Steve, Steve Harvey. Harvey. That was that. That was safe time, oh. though. Yeah. That's pretty racist, fellas. <laughs> that, that's not Steve Harvey at all. That's, that's so fucking Tyler Perry. What is wrong with you guys right now? <laughs> I swear to God, if he puts Tyler Perry... Wait, hold on. Right Did I send here? you the wrong... Oh, no. I was... If he puts oh, Tyler Perry oh, he, right he, here, he I didn't swear know. God. Jake, he Wait, didn't know isn't, that, he isn't that, that Tyler Perry? No, that's that's Steve Harvey. That's Steve Harvey. JP didn't know Wait. who he said. You're racist. Dude, dog. that's... <laughs> You're the racist one. Dude. That's Tyler Perry, guys. That's not. That's super not, <laughs> super Tyler, not Perry. Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry has glasses. <laughs> well, I'm going to switch up the picture and editing. So. Of course. <laughs> if, he puts, if he puts Tyler Perry right here, just know that it was Steve. All he just right. sends us a photo of Ludacris. He's like, that's Tyler Perry. <laughs> what do you say, JP? Huh? <laughs> you said all black people look like rockers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got it. I see. I see. And um, uh, things have really been heating up. So as again, we, we discussed our last round. We're looking at our potato salad challenge. Gentlemen, so if you this. guys will take out your uh, notepads on your phone, go ahead and take as much time as you need. We'll edit it down for our viewers and uh, write down your recipe, your best recipe for potato salad. Send it to me when you are ready. Cause like now I'm actually like trying to be like good about it. Or? Well, I don't know how to make a potato salad. <laughs> Let alone like I'm not gonna play into the stereotype of putting raisins into it. But like I'm trying to figure out what goes into a potato salad. There's potatoes. There's lettuce. It's a salad. Oh, just let me just let me put the croutons in there. I like ranch dressing. Macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll go with that. I, I cut it super short because I was just like, I think this is all that goes into it. First up, we have Cody's potato salad. Looks like uh, we'll itemize it for you guys for anybody who's uh, vision impaired. Tablespoon of Tony's seasoning. <laughs> Okay, we're starting off a little wrong. I mean, but uh, salt, pepper, garlic pepper. It's all tablespoons. Tablespoon of Tony season and salt, a tablespoon of pepper, a tablespoon of garlic pepper. <laughs> I right like... on the seasoning. That's a white. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real what? I like, I like your reasoning. Because then we have the five, five diced p- potatoes, a lot of mayo. For some reason, he's thinking lettuce in the mix. <laughs> And uh, three chopped up eggs. 
All right, all right. Now we can't wait to get to Eric's. <laughs> to which Eric has written down, I have my grandmother make it. What am I, a woman? <laughs> Salt my grandma's cooking now. <laughs> Say grandma can't cook. <laughs> All white. Uh, the, the judges have convened. It looks like uh, Eric. We're gonna have to ask you to leave. But, uh, whoa! Sorry. Whoa! Did you guys hear that? Yup. The sound of a microwave beeping me means we have a special oh, bonus God. round for you. God, Our bonus God. round counts as 49 points, so this is still anyone's game. <laughs> Our bonus round is to test how genuine a white can recite a phrase that any minority would love to hear from their white friends. These are phrases that have been tested by all members of Hispanic, black, and Asian communities. Eric, you're up first. All right, I got it here, JP. Man, I hate Trump. <laughs> If I ever saw his cracker ass, I swear to God, I mean, I just, I dust the orange off that potato, bitch. Very good. I feel very at home around you now, Eric. (laughs) (laughs) I swear to God, if you send me what I think you're going to send me, I swear to God, Jamie. Here's okay. your phrase, Cody. <laughs> I'm cool with it. Yeah, try to Hispanic it up a little, you know? Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. Hey, go Spurs! <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, want a modelo? Lime? <laughs> hmm? See, no? See, no? See? <laughs> Oh. Pretty fucking good, Jesus Christ! Uh. I wish I had a burrito here for each of you. <laughs> <laughs> but um, okay, we're gonna get those results tallied. I thought and... you were sending me the N word. <laughs> yeah, me too. I thought one of us was gonna get it. I thought one of us was gonna get the N word. For sure. For sure. Fucking. Oh man, was that's where my head went? Cause he was like, try to say this phrase to make you feel homely around it. <laughs> I thought one of us was going to get the N word. If you didn't get it, so I was like, dude, he's about to make me yeah. say it, bro. <laughs> yeah, so I, just, I just saw, I was like, I was like, oh, it's a short text because I see his computer and I thought I was just going to say, my. I had a brain fart. I should have come up with that. Damn it. Oh, I'm so glad you did. <laughs> So, looks like the results are in, and Cody is our obvious winner. Um, <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's the kind of white that uh, I would I would introduce to my Hispanic brother, you know, uh, on 4th Street. But, Eric, this is, this is very shocking. Um, your results had prompted me and the judges here to call ICE, and you were about to be deported back to Missouri, my friend. Oh. Sorry for that, but thank you for being contestant here on How White Are You? Gentlemen, take a bow. You guys fucking rocked. Awesome. (laughs) All right, there we fucking go. What the fuck is up? All of you fucking... (laughs) Milkshake pieces of shit. We just want to let you know that we just got some brand new fucking merch down in the description below. Buy some so we can keep doing this shit every week. Fuck your mom. (laughs) All right, now you guys might be wondering, what just happened? What happened? What happened to my birthday boys, you know? And here's the thing. So I'm not as diverse. As Cody pretends to be, or JP is. <laughs> you know, Cody's always over here. Oh, I bang the other ones. Well, you can't call them other ones still. So, <laughs> so, 
you know, on our one of our last episodes, we were all in here hanging out, and uh, we kept on saying chupacabra. <laughs> Cody, help him and- out, man. <laughs> chupacabra. <laughs> There's a P in it, dog. Chupa. Do you think I know how to spell Chupacabra. Chupacabra. <laughs> like, okay, can you roll an R? <laughs> Dude. Brr, brr. Do that. No. Jesus. I feel sorry for your girlfriend. Dude. Just saying. Dog. <laughs> I got the vibrating tongue ring. <laughs> Where do you think I learned how to roll my R? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, nah, it actually, uh, no, nah, dude, a bunch of like simple, like, do you know like any kind of Spanish, honestly? Um, uno, dos, tres. How how high can you go? Cuatro, cinco, seis. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think nueve, ocho, diez. You're uh, out of order, but okay. You're, there, <laughs> You're out of order, but you are getting. And... Yeah, you skip seven. <laughs> yes, so... Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. I'm out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then, all right, so what's 11? Do you know 11? This this is where things get tricky. This many. <laughs> <laughs> Unce. Unce in the days. In right? what? That's 12. No. Right? Oh, shit. <laughs> Doce. No, Doce. Torece. That's yeah. 13. <laughs> yeah, no, see, I, uh, my my school, they uh, they told me that I didn't have to have a foreign language credit, credit to graduate. And I said, great, I didn't want any English credits to graduate. So <laughs> I, uh, I, I, move, I remember telling my dad, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm you know, moving to Texas, all this and that. And he's like, buddy, you better learn how to speak Spanish. And I was like, I'm moving to fucking Austin. And guess what? I was right. I haven't needed Spanish once. This is the whitest fucking Texas we are getting town very, ever. We are very, we are getting very different uh, experiences <laughs> dude, here in Texas, dude, dog. Dude, if I was going to speak a language here in Texas, I'd learn how to speak fucking Hindi. Because my entire apartment complex is all fucking Indians. Oh, dude, mine's uh, Ebonics. So I'm pretty fluent <laughs> in that. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm pretty fluent in that already, yeah. so I'm good. I'm good, dog. Yeah, yeah like, say, so like... You know, I, yeah, you go out to comedy club, it's all fucking whitey, white whites. Yeah. And then I go back home and it's all fucking Indian people. Like, I would say that there's maybe seven white people living in my apartment complex. And that's including me and my fiance. Yeah. Like, I moved in and I was like, oh, these, this isn't what I expected at all. But it's because like, uh, Apple is like right behind Mm -hmm. us with one of their big factories and none of us whats know how to, you know, be smart enough to do that kind of shit. So it's just like all fucking Indian people. So I'm like, oh, okay. And the funny thing about Indian people is they don't care to talk to you anyways. No. <laughs> like, or at least like all of them that I've like tried to interact, be like, hey, what's up? And they're just like, eh. And they just kept moving. Like they. Oh, dude, I'll walk out of my apartment. Hey, man, what you up to? Can you give me a ride somewhere? <laughs> I'm like, dog. I gotta go to work, dude. Like, <laughs> fuck, dude. I'm a little bit busy at the moment, dog. Yeah, give, give me a dude, second. But, dude, it is... It, we're having totally different experiences here in Austin, <laughs> dog. Uh, I am... I I mean, granted, we are the minority in my apartment, me and my roommate. Yeah. But it's not Indian people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is not the Indian people that we... <laughs> it is the people I have come to know and love. Black yeah. people. Oh, well. And they have taught me about shoe game. Yeah. He's so, wearing fresh Nikes. You can't fresh, see it on the screen. You can't see it. But they're, fresh they're, they're, Nikes. Fresh. So they're, uh, you know, helping me out. I'm yeah. Because there for a minute, I went to Denver, and Denver is a very whitewashed place, so oh, everybody you yeah. meet there is just... I guarantee that. Even the Latinas, whitewash as fuck. Yeah. Don't let them talk different. They're fucking whitewashed. Um, so I lost my black card. I haven't been to a black meet in a while. It expired. Uh, you haven't been to the cookout in a while? I haven't been to the cookout, dog. Dude, so, I want to um, go to the cookout so bad. Just, it's fire, dog. I want to get invited to one cookout. It is fire. And look, let me just say this. As provenly the whitest member of this crew, <laughs> you invite me to the cookout, I'm not pretending that I'm something I'm not. I'm going to show up. I'm going to wear boots. I'm going to wear a belt buckle. I'll have a backwards hat on because I wanted to be a frat boy, but I was too fat. He was a I'll, frat boy. I was boy. a fat boy. So, <laughs> I'll put Morgan Wallen with you. Oh, Jesus. 
and then I'll get drunk as shit, take my shirt off, and you can tell all the black chicks, like, that's why you stick with us, you know? <laughs> and I'll have, I'll be fun. Dude, I love to party, and a cookout sounds like the place I need to go. Yeah, so, well, first off, there'll be a lot of food, so you'll definitely feel at home there. Love that, love uh, that. And it's going to be seasoned, so there's that. I love that. Um, <laughs> But, like, dude, the cookout's fun, man. Like, that was... My Saturday night in high school. Yeah. Like, we go to the cookout. Yeah. And, like, dude, it's it's dope. I haven't been in a while, but I feel if I keep staying in the apartment complex, I'm going to eventually go back to the cookout. Yeah. Well, see, and that's that's the funny thing is, is, like, I don't think we've addressed it on the podcast, but, like, me and you have talked about it. Like, mm-hmm. me and James, we've talked about it. And it's, like, whenever you first told me, like, oh, yeah, I grew up in a, like, small town, only, like, a couple hundred people, all this yeah. and that, my brain instantly went... Why did he what what what? <laughs> and then you're like, oh no no no, I was the only what there. Yeah, <laughs> like so, me and five other white guys in my yeah. graduating class. Yeah. So it was the exact opposite of my graduating class. Yeah. Like we had two uh, twins that were uh, mixed that were in my class, and then there was a, a black dude who was a year older than me, and there was a. I think maybe one or two that are a year younger than me. Mm. And, like, that was it. Like, very white, Midwestern town. But, like, dude, invite me to the cookout. Come on. (laughs) I love fat bottom bitches. I ain't like him with all the one, the flatty flat flats. Dude, all right, Harold, first off, I feel like I I, I feel like I should should defend myself on this idea. Okay? (laughs) It is not, oh, I just like to fuck a two by four. That is, I am thinking longevity wise. Yeah. Say if I find me a, a, a female, which I, w- the female I have now, mm-hmm. would would I keep her past August if I could? You know? She um, watches, I guess. Uh, <laughs> either she does or she doesn't, it's the truth. <laughs> yeah. um, me and her have talked about it, so it doesn't, it is what yeah. it is. Um, but like longevity wise, I don't want a female who has big titties, big ass, and it's going to sag. Yeah. Well, you get a bitch that's into doing squats. Come on, bro. They're good. You, they get comfortable. They ain't trying to do all that stuff. They ain't trying to keep themselves up. Gotcha. Like we, we saw what our dads married. Come on now. That's fair. Right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we saw what the generation before us got and like yeah. how it turned out for them. Yeah, like, that's I'm fair. Just, that's like, fair. There's a reason why I'm 28, no kids. You yeah. know? Yeah. Because first off, I pick the worst bitches. Yeah. To be with, and um, it never works out well. So I know if I have a kid, she's gonna be crazy. Yeah. So, therefore, I'm not going to see my child, and she's probably going to be saggy. <laughs> but that's built-in abandonment, so it's not even your fault if you don't have to raise it. I mean... You know, like, come on. I, <laughs> yeah. Like, I would like to be like, I would like for him to, like, watch it whenever I do blow up as a comedian, be like, hey, that's my dad. Yeah. I'm like, but... But just think, if you abandoned him, his friends would be like, hey, isn't this your dad? And he'd be like, fuck off, you know? <laughs> Then but, he could be yeah. a funny comedian, you know? We'll find out. We'll yeah. find out. Because, like I said, I just, I feel like I have to, because I've had that taste in women for a long time. Yeah. Like, I, I'm not attracted to big, big booties. Like, and but there's a difference between, like, big booties and a nice butt. Oh, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because there's, there's different. There's some chicks that are like, I got a fat ass, and it's like, you're, that's just a lot of cheeseburgers. You're fat. Yeah. Like, like you're, you're I got not, a fat not. ass, too. I'm just fat. I'm a fat ass. Like... <laughs> Exactly. There's a dip, but yeah, no. See, I've I've always been more of a, like a big butt guy than a big boob guy. Mm-hmm. I don't fully know why, but like I don't know. I was just always like, don't I, get me wrong, fat can, titties in my face. Deal. I can I can explain even further of why. Also, there like there's multiple reasons to why yeah. I am the way I am. So I am particularly thin. Yeah. For a guy, like I weigh like 155 soaking wet. Like I'm I'm six foot tall and I'm thin as fuck. Yeah. And I like to feel like I can overpower a bitch. Yeah. Fat bitches, I don't feel that I can. See, I fuck some fat bitches. You can still throw them around. Yeah, that's because they're letting you. I like I like the like if she's kind of fighting back a little bit. Like bitch, I'll fucking throw your ass across the damn room. <laughs> this, <laughs> you know this, what I'm saying? This got a little R R-word, wordy fast, but. <laughs> I'm just saying, dog. This thing, it's not like that. <laughs> but, like, I mean. I like the struggle. <laughs> no, but, like, a female. Pepper spray me, I'll come. 
<laughs> have you ever have you ever felt a female that you could like literally fold her up? Oh yeah. It's fun. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's enjoyable, especially for me, because like I said, I'm just not a big guy. Mm-hmm. So for me, it has to be the female has to be in some way smaller. Yeah. See, I was always into short chicks, and then that was kind of like always my thing. Mm-hmm. Like. Uh, my fiance now is probably one of the like taller girls that I've ever dated, mm. and she's probably only like five five. So, well, the chick I'm with now, like, like even if she stands on her tippy toes, like I still have to point down to kiss her. Yeah. Yes. But like the chick before her, she could wear heels and then come up to my chin. Wow. Yeah. See, so. But she was also literally eighty nine pounds. Yeah. See that that was my so. first uh, like out of high school relationship. I was dating a chick. Who was like pumped whenever she got to 100 pounds, mm. but dumper, dude. Like, big old dump truck ass. I mean, I got one of those stories too. Like, but just super small now, mm. eh, you know? She, Me and her found hamburgers about the same time, I think. Like, <laughs> well, see, <you> know? <laughs> I had a, my love interest in college. Mm-hmm. Um, she was the, she's, I believe still to this day, she was, she was a power lifter in high school. Okay. So this is kind of where I started to diverge myself because I started to figure out what my type is. Yeah. Um, Are you sure all, you didn't ever get pegged by a power I'm lifter? Pretty, <laughs> pretty positive. Never did. Um, but also, like, she was also the last white girl I dated too. Okay. So this is like this one changed me. Yeah. For what I just dated. Period. But she was a power lifter. She was thick as fuck, dog. Yeah. Until she had um things in your throat tonsils she had her tonsils removed oh okay and then she couldn't eat for a while and then she lost a lot of weight mm-hmm. and then like after that it was like eh. yeah but then she got thick again and i was like oh, not bad i fucking like that <laughs> go team <you> know? <laughs> but she was a state she's literally like in the louisiana state hall of fame for records in powerlifting first person to find her and send it to uh, jp's uh dms Gets a free high five whenever I see it. And also the black guy that she's dating now. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I have considered myself uh, the transitional guy. Mm-hmm. If you're trying to go from black to white guys, date me. Okay. You'll, you'll, because I'm a mixture of the two. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like fresh Nikes, pale skin. Well, I was gonna go, uh, big dick and good credit score. Oh, okay, okay. So. Okay. But if you're trying to go, if you're trying to get into black guys, mm-hmm. date me as a transition, because I help yeah. loosen you up for what you're going to. He's trans. That's what we learned. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The it's... doctor did work on me, you know? <laughs> I'm just saying, if there was an experiment or an experimental thing, surgery, to make yourself have a bigger penis, I am willing to begin to raise, raise funds so we can have it done to Eric. Patreon, get on that. <laughs> Just saying, um, if they you take like like some, if they take some tummy, oh. put it into your dick. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, I, I think I think we're working with something on that. Yeah, I that mean, should be that should be a shark shark tank pitch right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just grow that shit. You know? <laughs> there's a, yeah. there's a name for it. Grow well, that like, shit. That, yeah, I don't know. That is the that's the thing that's like uh the the Joe Rogan bit. Here's Cody and Eric asking for twenty five percent business. Fat dick. <laughs> Fat dick. This this is our company. Fat dick. <laughs> Fat dick. Same balls. Still looks weird. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, dog. I uh, but I have thought that like before. Like dude, like I've had females that would like they dated me. And then after me, they started dating black guys. Yeah. And then I've had females who dated black guys, dated me, and then started dating white guys. It's like, what? What is this? Either way, you're yeah. Either way, I'm, you're I'm the, in the mix of yeah, it. You know. You're the, yeah. See, I the <clears throat> the chick that I had, like the first like real relationship, like big term relationship with, mm-hmm. she started dating all black dudes right after me, and it was so much fun being like. She had to find something that filled the gap. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I what can I say? But. Yeah, I was no. fighting for a whole race, bro. <laughs> I was like, I'm just, like I was fighting for a whole race. Like I want to keep her here, <laughs> or I want to bring her to our side. Yeah. But no, nah, it was yeah. All transitions, dude. All transitions. And what's crazy yeah. was like I had one of my exes started going to. She started dating Mexican guys after me, and I was like, "What's that about? You want to do who just works harder than me?" Yeah, like, what's yeah. That? Yeah, she's like, "I don't like this whole like having a dream. Like I like exactly. dreamers." So. <laughs> 
that was a political joke, and Cody yeah. got it. I like that. <laughs> I like. <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, the chair fucked up. Oh, um, it does that from time to time. Oh Jesus Christ! There's no need to involve him, okay? Well, first off, since we're on race, uh, Jesus Christ, white or black? Black for sure. You think He's so? From fucking Africa. Like, well, that's not right. Well, okay. <laughs> You know where Israel is? Like, you know where that stuff is at? It's not Africa, dog. Isn't South, it? South Europe? Huh. I believe that's South Europe, dog. I was pretty Very... sure it was all, like, North Africa. It was where all, because, like, all... JP, we're... can you pull that up for us? Yeah, yeah, we're going to need a Goog. Give we're it a gonna, Goog. We're going to need a Goog. Where? It's uh, Bethlehem. Where is Bethlehem at? Please, Dude, sir. if if this is Africa and you were the Jesus upset. student, I'm going to be fucking pumped. It's like it is in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> he was actually a, uh, <laughs> He was actually an American. Okay, I don't even Okay. Just keep guys, zooming out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. That's not Africa, bro. Africa we got over here. I thought I said that is, is that, South Europe. No, that'd be part of Asia then. Like right next to Syria and Jordan, I don't know any of these. Iraq is even around here. Saudi Arabia. It's in the Middle so, East. So yeah, that would all be considered South Asia. Okay. So, so Jesus South had Asia. a small penis. We learned today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So imagine you... that was the trade-off. He's like, you'll have all the powers. However, you can walk on water, bring people back to life, cure the blind, but you gotta have a micro penis. God doesn't give everybody any. That's that's why he didn't have sex. Oh. Funny story, he had a wife. I mean, I know he hung out with a prostitute. No, he had a wife, though. He was married. <laughs> dun, dun, dun! <laughs> <laughs> no, I believe, I want to say Jesus was married at one point in time, before he died. But they don't ever talk about her. Yeah. <coughs> like, well, her name was, like, something. She was a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. She was terrible. She never put out. What a whore. <laughs> Well, I mean, who would want to fuck a micro penis? Yeah. Oh, you're out here turning water to wine, but you can't make that thing big and please me. You yeah. Know? Dude, imagine marrying Jesus and you still can't come. What oh, a fucking Jesus. bummer, dude. And he what could just a... he could just uh, ha, ha, And he still wouldn't. Ha. He's like, My pleasure's all that matters, baby. I don't know why I made Jesus fucking... Elvis. <laughs> hey you little lady. <laughs> Uh, he was making her his hound dog, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Don't stamp on my blue suede shoes. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's, uh, yeah, Jesus, cool guy. Yeah. Have you watched Da Vinci Code yet? I haven't. Is it good? It's really good. But I've they been also, told cool things. They also, uh, it's a long one. Um, yeah. But in the movie The Da Vinci Code, they kind of decipher who Jesus really was. And he was like a politician that okay. just wanted like legend to be told about him. Okay. And See, then they built a religion around him. Yeah, I, so, yeah, I have a lot of theories about religious stuff, and uh, have you ever uh, heard the book The Mushroom and the Cross? Rogan talks about it all the time, so I feel like most people... Is that where, like, we come, we come, we do come from animals, but, like, they were taking mushrooms, and that's how they evolved to us? Like, the consciousness no, uh, evolved? I can't remember the name of that, but the, the idea is one of the guys that uh, went through and, like, described the, or was one of the people that was on the team of people reading the Dead Sea Scrolls, which mm-hmm. are the oldest context of the Bible. Um, one of the 12 or 11 people that did it decide, came out of it with the idea that all of religion was actually based off of uh, fertility and uh, mushroom rituals. Mm. Because if you translate Jesus back far enough times, it translates into mushroom or something like that. So this one guy has a whole theory that's all like, he thinks that it's really all uh, rituals of like getting high, and that's why you have all these visions and religion and ancient texts and stuff like that. And my overall take on religion is I hope it's real. Mm-hmm. Like, I hope Jesus was a real guy that I really gets saved, that I get to like flail my dick around on a street of gold. But I'm not hedging any bets on it, so I'm just gonna try and not be a cunt for the like majority of my life. And if I get up there and he's like, hey, you didn't believe this one little part. Now you got to burn in hell. It's like, well, that sucks, but I tried. Yeah. Like, you know, I feel like that's a fair Yeah, analysis. just don't be a dick, bro. Yeah, like, don't be a cunt. Like. That's just the simple things of it, man. It's just, yeah. 
Because let's be honest, like, sometimes it's really fun to be a bitch. Yeah. Well, you know? And it's just the, really fun to be an asshole. The best part is, is my fiance is very religious. Did y'all have premarital sex? Gross. <laughs> Sin. You uh, <laughs> might be burning in hell for just that. Yeah. But, like, so she's really into it and stuff, and I'm always sex? just like, okay, cool. yeah, well, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if you're her brother, turn this off. Uh, <laughs> go back two minutes, turn it off then. <laughs> you heard nothing. Uh, no, but, uh, it, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think that, like, all that is really, really interesting. And I definitely, I think a lot of it, like, anytime you get people involved in anything, mm. they're going to fuck with it and fuck yeah. it up. So... My whole thing is with religion, if you take all the key principles of all religions, like look at Buddhism, look at, uh, uh, what is Muslim's religion? Uh, I don't know. Islamic? Yeah, look at Islamic, look okay. at Christianity, look at all of it, and it's all basically the idea of like, hey, don't be a cunt. Mm-hmm. Like, don't murder people for no reason, don't fuck your neighbor's wife, unless he's into it, hey. Um <laughs> Oh, do I got a story for you? <laughs> then invite me over. So, uh, <laughs> have, you, have you done done some wives? Uh, it was a chick who had a boyfriend. Oh, well, yeah. No, was, this was is... he. He was one of those guys? He was one of those guys. Wow. Okay, we'll get into the story. <laughs> Why not? We're I think here. we need to. All right, we'll make it short and sweet. So, I was working at a, a restaurant when I was living in Denver, pre, mm-hmm. pre-COVID. And there was a chick there. Very fine. Um, and I was like hitting on her one day, and she was like, Well, I have a boyfriend. And I was like, Okay. Rings don't fill holes. What? Huh? Uh, just because soccer has a goalie doesn't mean you can't score. Yeah. Cool. Um, like three days later, she ends up adding me on Snapchat and starts sending me all kind of nudes and shit. Nice. All right, cool. So she doesn't care about the boyfriend. Well, we end up hooking up like, like four weeks, like a month later. So mm-hmm. we end up starting hooking up. And she was like, well, I want you to meet my boyfriend. Okay. Interesting. Why? <laughs> well, I just want you to meet him. Okay. I don't know where this is going. So I, um, we go, we go to a bar and after work and he's there. Yeah. And she introduces me as the guy she's fucking to her boyfriend. Wow. Now I'm just like kind of weirded out at this point. Yeah. He, for some reason, seemed very okay about it. Turns out he has a cuckold fetish. Yep. So. Uh, <laughs> so one day they invite me over. Mm-hmm. She invites me over saying, hey, come over, let's smoke and have fun. Okay. So it's literally me, her, and him sitting on the couch smoking weed. Just getting high. Hanging out. And all of a sudden, he goes off to the bedroom and she follows. I think they're about to go fuck. Yeah, it's like, oh, okay. Like, makes sense. Cool. And about, like, ten minutes later, she comes out wearing nothing. But he doesn't come out. Yeah. I'm like, okay, this is weird. Yeah. What are we about to do? She takes him back to the bedroom. This dude's handcuffed in the corner of the room. So... And he's like... Just sitting, like, he's, like, laying on the ground, handcuffed behind his back, on the ground, right? So, me and her, she was like, let's do what we do. And so, we started, like, messing around and stuff. Jesus. And she uh, wants me to uh, hmm, finish inside of yeah. her. That's yeah. the best way I can yeah. say Deposit it. Deposit seed. Yeah. Where the grass grows. Yes. So, I uh, have been very... Uh, like I have obliged all of her requests up to this point. Yeah. Why not do this as well? <laughs> so I do. And she removes herself from me and goes sits on his face <laughs> while. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's it's a big it's it's fucking way more common than you would think. Whenever I yeah, so whenever real I was real quick, real quick, what race was that guy, Cody? That guy was white. He was very white, guaranteed. Sounds about white. Yeah, it sounds about white. Yeah, he was very white. And when, um, 
Yeah, that was that was the last white girl I've ever actually yeah. had sex with. Yeah. So the so. the last two times I've went back to St. Louis for work, every time me and one of these one of the guys I work with, we will go out to the bar. Mm-hmm. Every time we have went out to the bar, he has been approached by women in St. Louis, and have been like, "Hey, you want to come home and fuck me in front of my husband?" And the last time we were sitting at the bar. What bar? <laughs> I'm curious. You just every a, time you go to this particular bar, <laughs> Well, we curious. like it a lot. So okay, I'm, I'm <laughs> we, we were sitting there drinking with this couple, and this girl gets up. My buddy follows her, goes outside, and the guy turns and looks at me, and he goes, yeah, I guess he's probably going to fuck my wife tonight. And I go, oh, okay. And then he started, like, making fun of me for being a comedian, and I was like, hey, bro, isn't my buddy fucking your wife? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so on that note, we would just like to say... If your wife's available, cheers to the birthday boys. Cheers to the birthday boys.